Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lord, and since the release of the new vault -Tec Workshop, a lot of people have only just started to notice that I have a couple of building mods that I use quite regularly in my game, and you guys actually seem pretty interested in them. Now, if you would have actually checked my weekly mod series, you would have seen that they were all there, but I guess that you guys don't, you know, always have time to watch all of my videos. So, I thought that I would actually compile all of my favourite building mods and show you what your settlements and rooms can potentially look like if you actually use them. And before I start the video, I just want to say I have had a couple of good videos up the last day or two, so if you haven't checked my channel this week, make sure to go and check it after this video in case you've missed out on anything. Okay, with that being said, let's get on with our first mod. This is the Settlement Objects Expansion mod, and it's pretty much my favourite mod in Fallout 4. This mod adds in multiple items from the base game, such as new beds, floors, walls, structures, and just general items that you will find around the base game of Fallout 4, so it's pretty good. They add in a lot of content that Bethesda didn't in the, you know, normal settlement building mode. Another cool thing about this mod is that there is even a DLC expansion pack. Now, what I mean by that is, if you have the DLCs such as Automatron, Far Harbor and the free new workshop DLCs, Basically, you can now place down items that you have seen in those DLC expansion packs that was not added to the settlement building mode. So, such as things like the Far Harbor crates. There is such a whole load of new crates that you can place down in your settlements to make it look like you've just had a huge cargo import. And, I don't know, it just kind of makes it seem that much better. Now, the next mod I'm showing you is the Madeline Inc. Pictures. This mod is probably one of my all-time favourite painting mods. And there was a load of these type of mods going around after the first few months of Fallout 4, but I always found myself going back and using this one over and over. Essentially, this mod adds in a lot of art from one specific artist that who likes to actually focus on games with popular women in, such as, you know, Cortana from Halo, but also some anime stuff too, so there is a little bit of something for everyone. My personal favourites have to be Cortana from Halo and Zelda from the Nintendo series. Pretty awesome art and I love seeing it hanging up in my workshops. So another cool thing about this mod is that the artist is always drawing more art and once they've actually perfected it, they tend to update this mod with the new art that they've drawn and yeah, it's pretty cool. Another really awesome feature again is that they actually allow for the pictures to be in the form of a desktop picture. So if you have a side table or a counter, you can actually put a little picture frame on it. So yeah, it's kind of like, well, I guess immersive. So yeah, pretty cool. And last but not least, we have the renovated furniture. And once again, this is one of my most used building mods. Now, even though settlement object expansion mod adds in a whole lot of new furniture, I always find myself using the couches, the curtains, and the bookshelves from this mod. And it's really that simple, it just adds in a lot of new renovated clean items that aren't just one colour, but you actually get a selection of different gradient colours to choose from. So, you know, if you have a couch, it's not just red, it's actually red with a blend of blue, and the purple meets in the middle, and it's really cool. In my opinion, this is what most building mods are missing. People seriously need to start adding gradients to their mods, whether that's like a building mod or maybe just an armor mod. I would love to see a set of power armor with a bit of gradients in it. It just makes it look 10 times better. Anyhow guys, those are the free mods that I do use all the time in my videos and that you guys have been asking so much about. I'm sorry that this is just a short video, but I do actually plan to make a vault tour later on this week and it should be pretty cool. Tell me in the comment section if you would actually like to see that. Anyhow guys, if you do decide to use these mods, I hope that you do enjoy using them and make sure to send me your pictures of your mods to my Twitter, which can be found in the description. And before I go guys, as always, the the links for the mods are in the description. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!